Today's episode of Potsky Adurus comes to you with insight of world famous Yellowstone National Park. We're about 15 miles, maybe 20 miles outside of West Yellowstone at Hebgen Lake. And it's one of our fa favorite places we've ever filmed simply because the scenery is absolutely incredible. You will see huge mountain peaks. You'll see rocky faces covered in snow and beautiful pine covered forests. And most importantly, there are absolutely a ton of rainbow and brown trout in here today. Okay, we're fishing on Hebgen Lake. Um, we're about 20 miles from uh, West Yellowstone, the town of West Yellowstone. And we're about an hour and a half from Bozeman. We're about five hours from Salt Lake City. Um, and about two hours from Idaho Falls. The ice fishing season here in Hebgen starts around, oh, uh, early to mid-December and it lasts until depending on the season like last year I fished until all oh, middle of April and the species that you that are readily caught in this lake are brown trout, rainbow trout and mountain whitefish. This on digging in about 30 feet of water and this fish was suspended so what I had to do is I had to reel in a lot way up high to try to get them interested in what we were running and after I did that all I had to do was get a good drop and as soon as I dropped I knew he was right there. So I'm gonna get that flasher out of the water so we don't tangle up. Now it's just about fighting. He's, close. He's straight down yet. Got a little bit of time left. He's at the hole now. Rainbow. Rainbow. Nice rainbow. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. We just absolutely hammered this trout, and if you look in his mouth, there is fire corn in his mouth. He hammered this thing at 15. It's hanging on his lip. Fire corn still in his mouth. Give him a little treat on the way back. Go. I got him. Oh, he's staying down. He might be a nicer fish. Is he close or not? Now he's, yeah, yeah, he's right under the hole. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice trout. Nice rainbow. Now another nice rainbow caught on plastics and anise fireball. We're gonna let this guy go down the hole. Catch him another day. Hi, I'm out here on Hebgen Lake today using a medium action rod, using a little rattle spoon, and I'm tipping them with these awesome and a scented fireballs. And I'm also using Mike's Anise Lunker Lotion and I'm just adding some scent on there for an attractant. And that has actually been killing the rainbows and browns today. You got that, that one. That rainbow absolutely smoked it. Is it close? He's getting close. Let me see if it's a good one. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Nice. Oh, yeah, Beautiful it's a fat rainbow. rainbow. Wow. Oh, look at that wow. fatty. Holy. Absolutely smoked that fire anise Whoa. fireball. Nice rainbow. I dropped it down and it just smacked this jig and wrap. What we've been using a lot today, or what I've been using a lot today, is a red and white daredevil with natural fire corn. And what has been happening is that we have been actually missing some fish and when we miss those fish we lose the corn and if the corn's gone you have absolutely no attractant and the fish don't care but if you put this corn on it I mean it's it's night and day I mean they're hitting it and they're and they're destroying it fish off fish off he hit it at I don't know about 25 feet I mean, oh wow yeah, he is not wanting to come up very bad Did you see him? I, don't know. I don't see him yet but he's He's fighting pretty good. He doesn't want to come up from that depth very badly. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. So nice fish, nice oh, Nice to brown. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, brown. Yes. Let's go. Woo. He was sitting about 15 feet of water. Got the spoon right on him, and he just absolutely whacked it. We're going to get him in the water. Got him. He came up to that spoon and he just smoked it. He's getting close. 
Oh, oops. Oh. Got a brownie. Yeah, it's a very underutilized ice fishing lake. I think mostly because Yellowstone is regarded as a you know a tourist attraction. Plus, it, it's you know we have 200 miles of groomed snowmobile trails, so people typically come here to you know snowmobile on our great trails and do self guided and do guided tours inside of Yellowstone National Park. But it, you know it's. It, it's you know we're out here all by ourselves almost you know we have pretty much the lake to ourselves. I mean we don't have you know a ton of fishing pressure. Um, I just think it's a you know, it's a great place to come out and you know get away from people, enjoy the great scenery, and catch uh, you know awesome rainbow trout and brown trout. Typically the average size fish that we catch, you know the rainbows and browns are in that 16 inch range, but definitely uh, you, you get them up into you know 22 23 inch range as well we fished this lake before this is our second time we've been here and you know we tried to move to a couple different spots simply because we wanted to catch brown trout sure enough we ended up catching a couple beautiful brown trout today in addition to all those rainbows now all of our fish came on two different baits today Mitch used his daredevil spoon that he fell in love with and tipped it with natural fire corn you know that corn has just got some great scent to it and it worked really well and then Chris, he doesn't veer far away from what he does every day. He grabs those chartreuse and these Potsky fireballs and he tips them on a little jig and then he takes Atlas Mike's Anise Lunker Lotion and adds it on the jig. He thinks Anise is the key to catching trout here. And you know what? I'm not gonna say he's wrong because he caught a ton of fish today. Now, all of our fish came through the ice. You notice that the ice sometimes forms here in early December goes all the way into April and this beautiful high mountain lake that has surface elevation it's about 6,500 a little bit more feet here and we're just upstream on a drainage of the Madison River from Quake Lake. Many people have heard of Quake Lake in southwest Montana you know it's got a lot of historical significance. Well this lake is a little bit bigger than some people think. If you check out on a map okay this is a dam portion of the Madison River it's got 15 miles long it's got 21 miles of shoreline, and it's just one beautiful place to come out here and trout fish. Come out here, use the baits we did today, and you can have an excellent time and catch some beautiful Montana rainbows just like we did. Now, if you want to stay and fish right in this area, there's no better place to stay than Terra Nova cabins, especially in the winter because everything else around here seems to be closed. You want to have to drive all the way to West Yellowstone, you're looking at one mile from the dam where you're going to be fishing. Beautiful cabins. Excellent cell phone service. We didn't stay here, but if we came back after seeing the cabins, this would be where we stay. Beautiful place to stay, winter specials. What more could you ask for? Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.